Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So you're watching footage shot with the Feiyu Pocket 2. So the Feiyu Pocket 2 is like the DJI Pocket 2. It is a tiny action camera mounted on a gimbal. There are a couple of areas that Feiyu improves over DJI. The first is that the field of view of the camera lens is much wider than on the DJI Pocket 2. Like right now my arms are not even fully extended. My elbows are kind of bent and I have my head and chest comfortably in frame. If I actually push my arm out, I get a lot more in the frame. The second improvement is that the Feiyu Pocket 2 body is completely crafted out of aluminum. So it feels very premium in the hand. Whereas the DJI Pocket 2's body is crafted out of plastic. So the third improvement is the sound you're hearing right now is coming directly from the Pocket 2's internal mic. So this is a much better microphone than what's in the DJI Pocket 2. The, sorry, I didn't catch this bus. So the fact that the Feiyu Pocket 2 is really petite and light at only 127 grams and just barely 5 inches long and it has an ultra wide angle camera of 130 degrees and a serviceable built in mic means that this is a really good all in one vlogging setup. If you want to vlog you just have to take this with you and that's it. You don't have to carry an external mic. You don't have to carry like a wide angle lens adapter, which you have to do with the DJI Pocket 2. So let's look at the rest of the hardware. Like I said, this is an all aluminum construction. It's really well built. This camera here to start the show, this is a 12 megapixel Sony CMOS lens with a half an inch sensor. And it's built on top of a three axis gimbal. Now you have a joystick right here that allows you to control the camera's um, direction and also you have this button down here. This is the record button. The power button is on the right side. Now there's also a speaker grill right here so when you are previewing video you do hear sound coming off although it's a little bit tinny. Now this screen is a 1.3 inch LCD panel resolution is 240 by 240 just sharp enough that you can see exactly what you're filming so again this is excellent for vlogging so it's a touch screen so you can just swipe and tap and cycle to cycle to all the different shooting modes so all the different shooting modes you have photo video in video you can shoot up to 4k 60. i generally keep it at 4k 30 just to conserve storage space but you also can downgrade to 1080 30 if you need or even 1080 25 for a more cinematic vibe but I'll just stick with 4K30. That's my go-to frame rate and resolution. You also have slow motion, time-lapse, and panorama photos. Now all these you can control directly on the gimbal obviously, but you can also connect the Feiyu Pocket 2 to a smartphone. So pairing the Feiyu Pocket 2 with an app brings many benefits. The first is that you can now put the camera somewhere and control recording remotely. You don't have to be right next to the camera. And also with the app, you can do automatic face tracking. So that means once again, you can put the Feiyu Pocket 2 somewhere and then you can film yourself. And even if you move around, the camera will follow you as much as it can to keep you center frame. So this is again useful for content creators without a second person helping. They can film themselves on the fly. Now the Feiyu Pocket 2 also comes with a carrying case that you can just put the device in there, close it up, and then it will protect the lens. There's also a quarter mount screw right here so you can put the Feiyu Pocket 2 on any tripod, although it will stand on its own on a flat surface anyway. Enough talking, let me show you some more footage that I captured over the past two weeks as I carried around the Feiyu Pocket. The uh, Feiyu Pocket 2, the audio is from Feiyu Pocket.
So I think overall the footage, videos and photos captured by the Fiji Pocket 2 looked pretty good. Stabilization is excellent and like I said the ultra wide angle really just makes everything look more immersive and cinematic when you're shooting away from you and when you're filming yourself it's just so much easier to not have to like extend your arm all the way or use a selfie stick. Now if I have to be honest I do think the DJI Pocket 2's video footage is a little bit better in challenging shooting conditions. So against backlight, DJI Pocket 2 tends to find better balance and in low light conditions, it has less noise and better um, colors too. But that's in challenging shooting conditions. If I'm shooting under good lighting conditions like during the day, I would prefer to carry this than the DJI Pocket 2 because the wider field of view, 130 degrees here really makes the vlogging experience much better. You know, I, I don't have a good looking face. I don't want my videos to look like this, you know. I want my face to be a little bit away from the camera. So yeah, this is the Feiyu Pocket 2 and it retails for around $350. So that's about it for this video, man. If you're interested in more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. I have a lot more stuff coming up. August is gonna be busy as hell, but it's gonna be exciting. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.